A marvelous day, grade 9 learners! It's time to share another learning adventure with me. Teacher Giselle Luel Bayukot from Jacinto de Malima Senior National High School of the Division of Hingaog City. I will be your teacher broadcaster for today. Are you ready? Great! As we begin another exciting chapter, I hope that you have with you your pen, paper, and module in English for the fourth quarter. We are going to focus on our specific objective. Let's read it all together. Relate the materials listened to. Real-life experiences through different activities. First things first. Before we proceed, let's have first a recap of what we have discussed on the previous lesson. Can you still remember our first lesson last time? You are right! We discussed about judging the relevance and worth of ideas. Now, for our review, how do we measure the relevance and worth of an idea, the soundness of author's reasoning, the effectiveness of a presentation. Outstanding! A relevant idea should contain information that supports the point or subject of the material in form of article, conversation, and even pictures. Whereas, the truth is something that has been proven by facts or sincerity. Now, since we talked about judging the relevance and worth of ideas, we should also know how to give proper reactions. Do you agree with me, learners? Fantastic! Now, prepare yourself. Grab your pen and papers. One, two, three, let's start! Do you know any current issue in our country? What is your reaction about it? Yes, I agree with you. We have a lot of varied issues or problems in our country nowadays. Our country has been faced with a lot of problems from the smallest aspect up to the most difficult ones. As we know those problems, how do we react about it? Do we react positively or negatively? Is our reaction appropriate to the situation at hand? We will be able to answer those questions as we go through our lesson. I have here a picture. Look at it. Do you know this issue? I think you have mentioned it earlier. Awesome! You are correct! The picture presented conveys the territorial issue between Philippines and China in the West Philippine Sea. What is your reaction to this? I definitely agree with you. You are right. You may have different reactions, but the most important thing is the way you approach the issue. By doing this, everything will fall in place. But wait, is your knowledge about this issue complete? Is your reaction valid? Is it correlated to the issue? Too many questions! Now, to really understand our topic for today, let's define first the word reaction. What is reaction? According to the Marayam Dictionary, reaction is a resistance or opposition to a force influence or movement, especially a tendency toward a former and usually outdates political or social order or policy. Now, from this definition, there is a resistance or opposition to a force or what we consider as the issue and is influenced by our emotions. Why do you think our fellow Filipinos controversially see this issue. You are right, because they have different political or social perspective that they are subscribing. To further define what reaction is, 
the University of Maryland define reaction as a formulation of analysis and reaction to a given body or material such as readings, lectures, or student presentation. It can be anchored that reaction is an expressive action meant to lay personal opinion in as analytical or resistance against a given piece of work that is politically or socially driven. How about you? How do you define now the word reaction? Great! This time, we will find out how to react in issues with sound analysis. The question here is, how to react in issues with sound analysis? Do you know its characteristics? So, let's find out! The following are characteristics of reacting with sound analysis. First, its opinions and points are supported with specific example that is backed up with evidences. This increases one's understanding of a particular issue which is considered to be important, accurate, complete, and organized. Second, characteristics is that it expresses one's feeling in a thoughtful and well-constructed manner. To be thoughtful can mean a variety of things that either benefit yourself or others. Being thoughtful is to be able to decide when and how to act in a way that involves the most self-preservation for yourself and others. It is an inherent desire to help others and tend to their needs. Third, it applies the basic standards of effective writing like unity, coherence, supporting facts, and clear, concise sentences. Unity is the idea that all parts of the writing work to achieve the same goal while coherence means establishing a relationship between the ideas presented. One of the things that you need to consider to make your reaction with sound analysis is that it must be supported by quotations or other textual formats that will support a point. Using quoting, paraphrasing, and referencing will challenge or support your arguments. Next question is, how to react in issues with prompt actions? Have you heard the common saying that goes, actions speak louder than words? Do you agree or disagree with this statement? People either communicate with their words or through their actions. Words are merely sounds uttered by the tongue. The action is what puts the meaning into the word said. To say something and to do something are two different things. It is why people value hard work more than mere promises. Our actions and how we react to different issues will always convey our feelings towards it. That is the reason why we have to be careful of our actions. Bear in mind to think many times before you react. Here are the characteristics of reacting with prompt actions. First, it prompt actions because its connection to life, experiences, feelings, and ideas of people are relatable. Second, it also uses context as necessary element for good understanding. Actions depict 
a person's character and personality. What someone does and how he behaves in that particular situation reveals his real side. For example, if a town next to you experienced a flood, a real hero would do what he can do within his means to help the people instead of only feeling bad for them. Therefore, actions carry more meaning and importance than what a person says. A person must hence think twice before saying anything because words can be easily expressed but doing it in reality takes real effort and dedication. In any environment, be it work, household chores, there are always people who only talk about taking actions and the ones who get the work done. Let's discuss now about value judgment. What is value judgment? A value judgment is a judgment of the rightness or wrongness of something or someone based on a comparison or other relativity. A value judgment can refer to a judgment based upon a set of values or on a particular value system. It can be used either in a positive sense, signifying that a judgment must be made taking a value system into account. Most commonly, the term value judgment refers to an individual's opinion. Of course, the individual's opinion is formed to a degree by their belief system and the culture to which they belong. Were you able to understand our discussion? That's great! I guess that you are all set for our learning task entitled Asking Minds Want to Know. It's time to grab your pen and paper. Are you all set? We tend to think that most people are like us. Hold on, they're not. In some aspects, they may look the same, but they think differently. They express different views, behave and act differently. In this activity, you shall lay in your value judgment and evaluating for validity as to what one said and believed. Let me read the directions. Write P if you think the line suggests a positive outlook and N if it suggests a negative outlook. So, let's start. For number one, it's a new day tomorrow. What do you think is the answer? For number two, Life is a valley of tears. What is your answer? Is it a P or an N? Number three. Never mind. Every cloud has a silver lining. Is it a positive outlook or a negative outlook? Let's proceed now to number four. Life is a game at which everybody loses. Write your answers. Now let's proceed to number five. While there is life, there is hope. Is it a P or an N? Are you done? Now let's try to check if your answers are correct. Are you ready? Let's start. Now, for number one, the answer is letter P, positive outlook. For number two, the answer is N, negative outlook. For number three, the answer is Letter P, 
positive outlook. Number four, the answer is letter N, negative outlook. Now last but not the least, number five, the answer is P, positive outlook. Did you get a perfect score? Good job! I am sure that you really listened and paid attention to our discussion earlier. In the midst of COVID-19 uncertainties, various issues arise. You are asked to validate these issues according to your own conviction and understanding for learning task 2. Now let me read the directions. Put a check mark if the idea is possible and X mark if the idea is less possible. Are you ready? Now let's try to answer this one. Number one, COVID-19 is not a virus but bacterium. Number two, COVID-19 is a laboratory product, not from bat. Number three, COVID-19 is viewed, considered, and related to end of the world scenario. Number four, world economy will collapse due to COVID-19 pandemic. Last but not the least, number five, COVID-19 pandemic would change the global political landscape. Now, let's try to see if your answers are correct. For number one, it is less possible. Number two, highly possible. Number three, the answer is less possible. Number four, the answer is less possible. Number five, the answer is less possible. Did you get it all right? That's great! As we grow, social awareness skills and societal helps us to understand how one fits into and contributes the community and the world, as well as how we get what we need from the world. In the long term, social awareness skills will help us understand what is happening around us. It will also make it easier for us to share information, communicate, and collaborate with others. Accordingly, one of the most important weapons in our arsenal when it comes to individual analysis is our ability to put ourselves in someone else's shoes. It means we have the ability to see things from someone else's view and perspective in life. For your assignment, you are going to determine which view towards life is shown in the following lines below. So you are going to choose from these words, power, service, pleasure, fortune, power, and fame. Please write your answers on the blank provided before each number. You can find that one on your modules. Number one, whatever good I can do today, let me do it for I may never pass this way again. Number two, eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow may not come. Number three, money talks. Number four, do a good Number four, do a good turn daily. Number five, what are we in power for? And that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for taking your time. I hope that you learned something new today. Once again, this is your teacher broadcaster, Giselle Luel Bayukot from Jacinto de Malima Senior National High School, 
of the division of Hinog City telling you to never say no to learning. Till next time, goodbye! Thank you.